Hi guys, so a bit of a random one today. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of a family emergency this week and I've not been doing any work. So I've not been able to put any footage out to you of normal electrical life. But I got something a bit different for you today. So when I was about two years old, my dad had beehives and I poked a stick in one of my dad's beehives and the bees just poured out all over me, stung me all over. I remember my mum said she just heard this scream from the garden and she came running out and I was literally just covered in bees. Um, and so she threw me in the shower, showered all the bees off me. I was stung probably over a hundred times. I don't know how I survived it really. Um, so you'd think that I would have like a massive phobia of bees since being uh, having such a traumatic experience as a kid. But bizarrely, I don't. Uh, and I actually got into beekeeping um, when I was a sort of a teenager. Uh, my dad kept bees, his dad kept bees, and I started to get into it when I was a bit older. And so I've kept bees on and off for the last sort of 15, 20 years of my life. And... Um, what happens sometimes is people ask me if I can remove colonies of bees from buildings. I did one from a chimney once. That was a real tricky one. Uh, but today's video is me removing a colony of bees from someone's kitchen ceiling. They were coming in and out of an air brick going into the ceiling above the kitchen. And I basically, well, you'll see in the video what I had to do. It was an absolute nightmare of a job and I decided never to do it again after that. But... Um, Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash the thumbs up and uh, stay posted because there will be normal electrical videos resuming very shortly. Thanks for watching.
So just to give you a bit of background to that job, basically a customer called me and said, I've got a colony of bees living in my roof uh, of my kitchen. And because I had experience removing bee colonies before, I gave her a price to remove it. But I've got to say it was an absolute nightmare of a job. I got stung so many times, as you can see from the pictures, my hands were swollen up like balloons. And I decided after that I would just never do that kind of job again. It's the last time I've ever accepted a, a bee colony removal job uh, because no matter how much you charge, it's just not worth the agony and the grief. It took me 12 hours solid to remove that colony, uh, cutting out all the plasterboard in the ceiling and everything, cutting out all the combs, as you can see, and transferring them to a beehive and then relocating the beehive and helping the bees to get established in a new colony. They did survive uh, and the colony is still going today, believe it or not. Uh, so it's nice to have been able to rescue a colony of bees like that, but it was just such a difficult job that um, I was a bit ambitious to take it on really and it's not worth a hassle. Uh, but anyway, I hope you find that interesting and entertaining um, and if you are interested in beekeeping or if you've got any experiences of crazy uh, bee stories from your day-to-day -day, uh, life, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you about have you ever come across a bee's nest or um, a wasp's nest on your jobs? Are you a beekeeper yourself? Would you like to become a beekeeper? Uh, I'd love to hear in the comments all your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and share this video out to someone else who might appreciate it. I know it's a bit of a random one, but um, I just thought I'd put this out there and see who might enjoy it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.